Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today we pause to remember the 10th anniversary of the start of Operation Iraqi Freedom. It is right for us as a Commonwealth to recall all those from each branch of the military who answered the call to serve during these last 10 years. We remember all who served today, but especially the more than 200 sons and daughters of Pennsylvania who paid the ultimate sacrifice and gave that last full measure of devotion. The freedoms we cherish come at a very high price. Ten years ago, I was a young junior captain serving with the 1st Battalion, 8th Infantry Regiment of the 4th Infantry Division. As I reflect back, I think of the men and women with whom I had the honor of serving. I leave other conversations and judgments to the historians. The soldiers of the 1st Battalion, 8th Infantry came from diverse backgrounds. Many began their service prior to September the 11th, 2001, and they joined for many reasons. College money, some for job training, some because they thought they would enjoy the adventure, a desire to serve, some to be challenged in a unique way, some perhaps just for something to do. Many others joined after September the 11th. They felt a unique call to serve after our homeland came under attack. Some even left high-paying careers to enlist. This diverse group came together, and they became my family, my friends, my brothers. Today, I remember them, and Mr. Speaker, I wish I could name them all, but I want to name for the record those who did not come home, those who did not enjoy a reunion with their families as I did, those who did not marry or start a family, those who did not have the opportunity to serve here as we do. I remember Staff Sergeant Dale Pancho, Captain Eric Palawada, Sergeant Gordon Meisner, Staff Sergeant Curtis Howard, all of the 1st Battalion, 8th Infantry Regiment. May God continue to bless their families and grant them a peace that only he can give. I pray that same prayer for the Gold Star mothers and the families who are here with us today. The families of Sergeant First Class Brent Adams, Specialist Ross E. Vogel, today. Today would have been Specialist Vogel's 31st birthday. Lance Corporal Nicholas Morrison, Specialist Martin W. Condor, Staff Sergeant Kimberly Ann Volz, would their families please rise again? Thank you. Today I also remember others who still bear the wounds of battle, some seen and many unseen. It is a remarkable thing, the responsibility this country places on the shoulders of its youth and how well they perform. It is right that we pause, reflect, and here renew our mission to selflessly serve in the light of their inspirational and sacrificial service. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.